head out to rural Jeff Davis County, Georgia. And you don't have to look hard to find supporters of the state's proposed Religious Freedom Restoration Act. And they aren't afraid to say why. If you had gay customers come in here to buy flowers and they said, we want you to come to our commitment ceremony, bring the flowers, marriages are not allowed in the state yet, would you do it? No, I couldn't. Jennifer Williams is an associate at this flower shop, an observant Southern Baptist, who says she regards the Bible as the rule book for her life. She doesn't believe refusing service to a gay couple is discrimination. You're talking about the Bible, mm -hmm. how important it is. I mean, the Bible talks an awful lot about love and loving your fellow right. man. And it, it doesn't mean that I love them any less, because I don't. I pray for them, I hope. But if you don't serve them, it's not like you're it's giving them a lot. It's not that I hate them. I don't hate them. But, but you're not loving them if you don't want to serve them, right? Well, yeah, you can still love someone, I mean, even though you don't serve them. At another flower shop just down the street, the exact same opinions from the florist and her son, who is studying to be a Southern Baptist pastor. I would respectfully tell them that I'm sorry that I just don't want to do it because of my beliefs. But right now, you know, while Georgia is considering a law to make that legal for you to do that, it is not, and you can get in trouble for doing that. I understand that. So you would be willing to take that risk? Yeah. He died on the cross for me, so that's the least I could do for him. I serve a God who's higher than any Supreme Court judge. It's called the judge of the universe, and I don't care what anybody else says. So no matter what, whether it's a law or not, you would not bring your flowers to a gay commitment ceremony? No. There are five florists we found in this area. The employees of three of them do not want to appear on camera, but they all told us the same thing, that they want this law to pass in Georgia, that they want the right to turn away business from gay people. Their sentiments are, of course, very offensive to many. A demonstration taking place at the Georgia Capitol this week. We now see that this bill is very clearly a vehicle uh, to be used to discriminate against the gay and transgender community. And although the flower shop employees we spoke to don't like to use the word discriminate, they do indeed see the bill as a vehicle to legally deny service to gay people. You know, in the Ten Commandments, it says you can't commit adultery. Right. It says you need to honor your father and mother. Mm -hmm. If someone didn't honor their parents or commit adultery, would you serve them? Yes. Well, why would you serve them but not serve someone who is gay? It's just a different kind of sin to me, and I just don't believe in it. In these flower shops, they are happy to do business with you, but not so much if you tell them you're gay. Gary Tuckman, CNN, Jeff Davis County, Georgia.